And I would just say that the there's nothing for us to be concerned about. Okay. Um, well, that's reassuring. I, I hope. It's Christmas lights already. Don't worry. Don't worry. Something's wrong. Something's truly, deeply wrong. I've had enough of all this nonsense and censorship. Let's start with a real bombshell. These photographs were taken by an amateur astronomer. He uses his own telescope, positioned in his backyard. No billion dollar machinery. To me, this doesn't look like a comet, nor any asteroid as everyone keeps insisting. Today's video will be different from usual. Today, we're going to answer the uncomfortable questions about 3i Atlas that are troubling most of society. Should we still believe in God if an alien civilization exists? Why do astronomers keep telling us this is an ordinary comet when seven anomalies have been detected proving it's not? An asteroid is just a bare rock, whereas um, a comet has some ice on it that gets evaporated when it comes close to the sun. It turns out 3i Atlas is so easy to track that anyone with sufficient funds can buy a telescope that will enable them to see it. Go to Amazon right now and purchase a half a meter telescope because that would allow you to see the object in the sky. I cannot really f fake it. Recently, I came across a fascinating interview with Avi Loeb, in which he describes approaches to belief in God upon discovering the existence of an alien civilization. A new one, different from ours. See for yourselves. Now, um, I had a group of um, uh, religious scholars from uh, the organization Christianity Today that came to visit me at Harvard and they said, um, well, if we find uh, evidence for extraterrestrials, would that um, shake our religious belief in God? And I said, um, you know, I have two daughters, and when the second one was born, it didn't take away any of the love that I have to the first one. So imagining God as a single, as a parent that can attend only to a single child is very limiting. Uh, you know, if you th want to think of God as cap uh, very capable, then obviously God can attend to multiple civilizations. We may have siblings among the stars. And the only issue with that, I mean, it will actually, if you believe in God, it should make it your belief even stronger because uh, it's quite amazing to realize that uh, there are many uh, kids to that parent, you know, like, uh, but uh, the only issue might be that if you get jealous at one of your siblings because they're more accomplished than you are. This is a very interesting perspective. Now let's return to why 3i Atlas is more of a spacecraft than a comet or asteroid. Seven anomalies at once. Negative polarization. No tail. Perfect alignment with planet's orbits. Tail ahead of the object. CO2 eight times more than H2O. Nickel without iron the unbelievable size and mass. If you combine all these seven anomalies together, you'll never get a comet or asteroid. This is something entirely different. To better understand this, I'll show you each of the seven anomalies with a brief description. One, negative polarization. Interstellar object 3I Atlas is characterized by an extremely deep and narrow negative polarization of minus 2.77% at a phase angle of 6.41 degrees with displays a low inversion angle, where the polarization changes sign, of 17.05 degrees. This polarimetric behavior is significantly different from all known comets. Also, the light from it had a very unusual negative polarization. Either interstellar or those bound to the solar system, not fitting into either the high or low polarization comet categories. The combination of low inversion angle and extreme negative polarization is unprecedented among comets and asteroids, marking 3i Atlas, the first object known with such polarimetric behavior, and representing a previously unobserved population. 2. No tail. Intensity maps of 3i Atlas from stacking datasets collected on the 4th of July 2025, showing no visible cometary tail. The arrows point the directions to the Sun, north, east, and the negative velocity vector of the comet as seen on the plane of the sky. Third, perfect alignment. A near alignment by 4.89 degrees of the retrograde orbital plane of 3i Atlas with the ecliptic plane of the Earth around the Sun, having a probability of 0.002. A fine tuning of the arrival times at the planet's orbital radii with a net probability of 0.0002 
Given the circumferences of the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, the combination of these two independent coincidences has a likelihood of less than a millionth. It means that along its path, it can come very close to several planets. In fact, it comes very close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. Four, anti-tail. The anti-tail is an extension of the glow of scattered sunlight around 3IATLAS towards the sun and not away from it, as typically the case for comets. This anomalous anti-tail, not a result of geometric perspective, had never been reported before for solar system comets. 5. CO2 eight times more than H2O. The new observations reveal a cloud of carbon dioxide, CO2, around 3IATLAS, corresponding to a mass loss rate of about 70 kilograms per second. No water, H2O cloud was detected, with an upper limit of 4.5 kilograms per second on the water mass loss rate. 6. Nickel without iron. Very large telescope reported the surprising detection of nickel without iron in the plume of gas around 3 IATLAS. Nickel without iron is a signature of industrial production of nickel alloys. This data constitutes a new anomaly of 3 I Atlas. Natural comets generically show iron and nickel simultaneously, as both elements are produced together in the ejecta of supernova explosions. Is this anomaly another clue for a possible technological origin of 3 IATLAS? The paper suggests chemical formation through the nickel carbonyl channel, which is an extremely rare and exotic possibility in comets, whereas it is a standard technology for industrial nickel refining. It has also uh, unusual materials uh, being shed off it, like nickel without iron that we, are, or we only find in industrial production. Seven, size and mass. Residuals in sky coordinates, right ascension, RA, and declination, DEC, of three IATLAS relative to a gravity-based trajectory between May 15th and September 15th, 2025. Averages and uncertainties are shown for 4,022 observations from 227 observatories worldwide, which were binned in time. The residuals are consistent with zero between May 15th and September 23rd, 2025. Given its mass loss, the lack of non-gravitational acceleration during this period implies that 3I Atlas is more massive than 33 billion tons and its diameter is larger than 5 kilometers. This is the third interstellar object discovered on July 1st, 2025. And what was special about it, first of all, the brightness was so large that if you were to assume it's a solid object, it had to have a diameter of 20 kilometers. We get a mass of 33 billion tons. That's the minimum mass. The object needs to be more massive than that. Now you know everything. Wait, but you don't. Now connect these seven anomalies with the fact that NASA shut down its website and ESA isn't publishing images of 3i Atlas from October 3rd, 2025, even though they have them. All of this is happening at the same time. Sound suspicious? It does to me. If you enjoyed my work, click subscribe and write what you think.